Okay, so we're going to cut to the chase instead of having all those questions. We're basically going to be answering the questions with the table. So always going to look for factors of the last number, negative 4. Oops, I don't know why we're at negative 2. Negative 4. So I'm going to think of all the factors. Now, in order to get a negative, they have to be opposite signs. Negative 1 times 4. Okay, 1 times negative 4. Negative 2 times 2. And there's no other way to write that. So now I add them up. I'm looking for a sum of negative 9. Hey, wait a minute. 3, negative 3, 0. There is no sum of negative 9. So what does this mean? It's prime. It can't be factored. Prime. If you've gone through every single possibility and it's not going to work, now don't just think you're starting and you can't find it. You have to keep looking, okay? So let's do this one then. So I'm looking for factors of 25. Factors of 25 are 1 times 25. What else? Negative 1, oh, and negative 25, because you might have noticed from here, since I do need a sum of negative 10, I would really need to, um, yeah, have two negative numbers. And what would be the two negative numbers? Okay, I have two negatives because this positive tells me I have to have the same signs, right? The middle number tells me I need a negative, so I can even eliminate the possibility of using positives. Same sign, both negative. Oh, negative 10. So this looks like this. Y minus 5 times, what else? Oh, it's the same thing as Y minus 5 squared. You're right, because anything times itself is squared. By the way, we're going to talk about special cases in a little bit, in a few sections in section 7.5. This is a special case. We call this a perfect square trinomial, PST, because when you square a binomial, you always get a trinomial. The biggest mistake people make is go square, square. That's not how it works. You got to have the oi. Don't forget the oi. Okay, what about this one? Factors of negative 80 that have a sum of 11. So right away, it's a negative. What does that tell me about my signs? They're opposite signs to get a negative. So I'm just going to go through some, I don't know, I, I try to think of the first ones that I can. Uh, 8 times 10. Nope, that adds to 2. That didn't work. What else goes into 80? What else? 16 and 5. Oh, negative 5. Oh, that adds to 11. So, you know, if it's if it ends in a 0, you can divide it by 5. If it ends in a 0, you can divide it by 2. If it ends in a 0, you can, you can divide it by 10. So you're just finding all the different, you know, you got to keep, keep, keep looking. So now that was negative 5, positive 11, no, oh, 16, sorry. <laughs> got ahead of myself okay positive 16 in order to add to a positive the the smaller number has to be negative I put it in backwards oh I don't I have no rhyme or reason to that I could have easily just done Z and I usually like to cross my Z's this is the same thing um, there was just because I already had the negative there Sierra and the positive there so I had to put the five with the negative What's that? No, just you just put it wherever you want. It's the same answer either way, okay? Now let's look at example five. We're just going to continue on here. The number one rule of factoring. So who knows the number one rule of factoring? What's the very first thing you want to do? Always. Yes. You always, always, number one rule first factor out the GCF because if you have a GCF that's going to make it so much easier to factor okay so that we're going to go back to the original thing we learned factor out the GCF look at all three terms of the trinomial and tell me the GCF is 2 how convenient because if you divide everything by 2 you're going to get x squared what's next after you divide out the 2 
minus 2x, 35. It's not negative in the front, so I don't want to factor out the negative. That's going to make it more complicated, okay? And this is equal, equal. Now we want to factor this. What's left? We're ignoring the 2. The 2 just stays along for the ride. We want to factor what? Factor negative 35, right? And that already tells you something about the signs, doesn't it? If it's a negative, the signs have to be opposite. Yes. Okay, give me some numbers that multiply together to give you negative 35. Ah, oh, which one should be negative? Well, let's try them both. Positive 7 and negative 5, what did that, what's that add up to? 2. Two. Negative 7 and positive 5, what's that add up to? We're trying to get a negative 2. Yes, we want the negative 2, so it's important that we give the 7, the negative sign, and the 5, the positive sign. Yeah? Okay, well, I didn't hear you quite. Oh, I don't know why I'm doing that. I have no idea. <laughs> okay, um, they're concerned as to, just for those our audience listening at home. <laughs> Okay. They're concerned about why am I putting them the different order, and I have no idea why. I just, I just, I already wrote the plus and minus, so I wanted to again put the seven with the negative. That's the only reason. Yes. Yes, that's the commutative property of multiplication. Okay. Uh huh. Same thing. Equal sign. Yes, these are all equivalent. Okay. First thing with this one, factor out the. GCF. What's the GCF? 4. So I'm going to bring the 4 out. Everything's getting divided by 4. Y squared plus, what's that, 12Y? What's 144 divided by 4, you guys? 24? You sure you divided it? Okay. <laughs> 24 plus 24. 36? Why did you do that to me? Okay, I asked if you had used your calculator to divide it. I had a feeling it wasn't 24, but anyway. Okay, 36. Give me two numbers. Now tell me what you know about the signs. What do you know about the signs? They both have to be positive. Okay, so this, it won't matter what order. I'm going to go y plus and y plus because the y times y gives me the y squared. What times what gives you 30? Oh, you already did it so fast. 6 times 6 gives me 36. 6 plus 6 gives me 12. And you could also write this as 4 times x plus y squared. And if you want to check if it's right, you can always FOIL. Okay? FOIL to check. Now, what did I tell you guys about negatives in front? If there's a negative in front, what do we want to always make sure we do? Yes, take it out because it's going to make it much easier to factor. Here's a perfect example. So the greatest common factor, lucky for us, is let's divide everything by negative 3. So I'm bringing the negative 3 out. t squared minus 15t. Do you see where I'm getting the minus from? Changes the signs. And what's the last term going to be? 50 plus 50. Okay, again, we'll factor 50. Any ideas what the signs are going to be? If we break in our 2, t, t minus, they're going to be both negative. Why are they both negative? Mm -hmm. And then they'll add to a negative, right? So to get the positive, we have to have the same signs. We're going to look for a sum of negative 15. Any ideas about the factors? Just tell me some numbers. Yes, Elizabeth. Oh, negative 10 times negative 5 gives us 50. Negative 10. And sometimes you find it on the first one. Do you have to continue this table? No, this table is completely optional. I don't need you to complete the whole entire table if you find the matching pair. The magic pair, 10 and negative 10 and negative 5. This one has a negative out in front, which is going to make it impossible to factor. So what we can we do is we can divide everything by negative 1 
bringing the negative 1 out front. I don't want that parentheses just yet. So if I divide everything by negative 1, I get z squared plus 7, oops, 7z, minus 60. Does everybody see what how I did that with the negative? We're dividing out the negative so that it just makes it easier to factor because you don't want to go positive z times a negative z gives you negative z squared. You don't want to do that. Who wants to do that? Not you. Okay, so factors of what now? Factors of negative 60 that have a sum of 7, positive 7. Okay, and uh, I don't know what they are, but let's try... Oh, 5 and 12. I love that. Oh, but, oh yeah. 5 and 12. What signs? Negative 12 or positive 12? Positive 12 give you a positive 7 if you have a positive 12. So here we have negative 1, z, z, opposite signs, minus 5 plus 12. There, I went in the same order. It was not a pattern. There was no pattern to that. Okay, questions about this? Try, of course, the last page and 